happy 4th of July to all of you lovely people out there today. Um, I wanted to first apologize. I got on to paint this pineapple the other day and I got a raging migraine and had to cut it short. So I'm back today to finish that up. And um, this is what my virtual paint party people are painting this month. This is the pineapple. So far I've done the yellow and then I've done the two shades of green. Now in order to get these, I actually used apple tart green. And then for the darker shade, I mixed some Christmas green in with it. So my lighter shade and my darker shade. So when you jump on, say hi. Um, I'm excited to paint with y'all today. I'm gonna show you a couple new techniques to kind of cheat your way through if you're um, not really a big fan of drawing. Um, so I'm gonna get my, oh, let me grab my colored pencils. Okay, so. I wanted to do a super cute Moroccan print on my pineapple, but to freehand that would be crazy. Um, and I don't have a stencil that's the right size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my carbon paper, which anyone who paints with me monthly should have a stash of this, because I try to give you um, some every month. Sometimes I forget, but if you ever need more, I don't send you enough. Just let me know. So I'm gonna set it down on my board. Hey Jen, how are you this morning? And I'm gonna actually trace this. It doesn't matter what color pencil I use because it's not gonna actually show up. So I am just gonna start tracing. Just like the other day, if you will um, share the, the video and come back and write share, you will get a link to a free um, paint color mixing chart. And I may have to get that link set up, so if you try it and it doesn't work, just let me know and I will jump on and email it to you when I'm all done. So I'm just going to trace all these and then I'll have some I need to go fill back in because my paper cuts off. But for the most part, it's going to get them all. Jen, what are your plans today? My hubby's home and we have no plans and no kids. So we're just hanging out. I'm catching up on some painting today. My kids are in Texas having a fun day with their grandparents and their great grandparents and their uncle and aunt and I really wish I could just go for the day but I can't so instead I'll paint so if you're just joining I started this pineapple the other night and I got a super crazy migraine and couldn't finish. So I'm finishing it today. And I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I have um, just a pattern that I printed. And um, if you paint with me monthly, you'll get this in your download. And then I also used a piece of carbon paper. And I'm just tracing right onto my board. So I've got half of it done. I'm going to do the other side. I need to look and see if they make a lighter color carbon paper because that would be so much better than this black but I don't know if that's a thing or not maybe one of y'all know and this doesn't have to be perfect we're gonna go back in and fill it up with paint anyway Jen, do you have stencils that you use when you do your crafty painting? Oh, I was going to tell you, too, that I saw your, um, you said you tried a stencil the other day and you needed work or needed help with it. Um, the key to stenciling, hey, Angie, welcome. The key to stenciling is you, you set your stencil down and you do another coat 
of your base coat. Hey, Stacy from Michigan. I'm glad you're on. I don't know if you saw the other day, but I started a pineapple and I got a crazy migraine. I didn't tell y'all at the time, but um, I had to jump off. So I'm finishing it today. So thanks for bearing with me. Um, but Jen, the, the trick to using a stencil is you're gonna do, your first coat is always a base coat of whatever color is already on your board. So like the other day, I think yours was either maybe white or gray. You wanna do that and um, that seals the edges of your stencil and then you do a coat or two of the actual paint color that you want and it doesn't bleed through because anything that bleeds through is actually the base color. So maybe that will help you um, do your stencils next time. And stencils are still a little bit tricky. Um, Stacy, this is Moroccan print. Um, it's called something else. Quatrefoil, that's what it's called. Um, I always call it Moroccan. But um, when you paint with me monthly, any of the this kind of thing that I use, like we're also going to be using this welcome writing, um, I give all that to you in a download, and your board comes to you in the mail. And so um, all of my peeps are going to be using this stencil. But it's called Moroccan, and... If you would like it, it's actually not a true stencil, it's just a piece of paper. Um, let me know and I can hook you up. Just send me a message. Because um, I literally just enlarged it and put it on a piece of paper and printed it and then I'm using carbon paper to transfer. Stacy, what are, you're welcome, Stacy. What are you doing for the 4th of July today? Anything fun? I just got a text message from my mother who has my kiddos and she said that my son is going to be a pro football player and is gonna support us all. I think that made her day. And if you know my son, he's this little bitty guy, but he's full of toughness and heart. Y'all feel free to ask questions if you have them. Let's see. Okay. This is what it looks like so far. She gives me a pretty good base. But what I need to do now is I'm actually going to cut the stencil so that the edges are right. You, know, you see right here there's this excess. I'm going to cut it so my edges line up perfectly. And then I can put it back on my board and finish out the sides. This will just help me not have a gap. Okay, let's see. Painting sign staying inside today. It's already 91 degrees. Holy cow. Hey, show me what you're painting. I'd love to see. Do you do door hangers like this or do you do um, like wooden, just the wooden signs? I'm not sure how to say that. I'd love to, I'd love to see your creations. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna line this up and then I'm gonna slip my carbon paper underneath. All right, see how I'm doing this? I lined it up, I can see through my paper and I'm gonna slip this piece right underneath here and then I'm going to finish tracing it out So Stacy, are you painting in the house today? I sure hope so if it's already 91 there. Maybe you have an air conditioned garage because that would be cool. Okay, let's see. I got it. Ooh, messed it up just a little bit, but it was close. We can work with that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let's see, the key is trying to line it up. 
keep it lined up while you slide your stencil underneath or your paper underneath. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. Um, show me what you paint. Do you do door hangers? Let's see. Okay, I think I'm good. Yep, that turned out pretty good. All right, so here's the, the pattern I used. And if you're just joining us, I use carbon paper underneath my pattern and pencil, and I transferred it onto my pineapple. Um, I'm going to use that same technique in case I run out of time. I want to show you. I got on the computer, found a fun font, and printed welcome in the size that I needed. And after I get this done, I'm going to set the welcome right on my board. Um, with the carbon paper underneath and trace it and that's how I'm going to get my words to look amazing. Alright, and you can do these like you can print them in all different sizes. This is another thing that I send my monthly people is um, wording that they can use so that they don't have to write it all out by hand. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white paint and we are going to pray that this white paint covers um, that black. So in, instead of just going all white in the beginning custom wood signs. Um, instead of going all white in the beginning, what I'm going to do is I've got a whole lot of white on my plate. Let's see if I can show you. And I'm going to do a dot of brown. Stacy, I had someone in the studio yesterday and she said she just bought a custom wood sign and it was the home with the wreath, which I have one at my front door that I got from a friend in Tennessee. Um, and I just love it. And I've wanted to make them, but I can't find the wreaths um, that are, you know, about the right size for the home. So, I haven't done them yet. I keep, I keep um, looking, but I haven't found them yet. Not at a reasonable price. Okay, so guys, by mixing in this dot of brown, it is going to help my paint cover. Now, it is going to make it slightly off-white. And it's hard to see, but it actually looks a little bit pink. And that's totally okay because we're going to need more than one coat anyway. So we are going to try to use this to cover. And then we can go back with our stark white on top. So now I'm just going to sit here and paint. So feel free, ask me questions. Tell me what you got going on. I'm going to live vicariously through all of y'all who are doing fun stuff today. We didn't even do fireworks last night. Or are we supposed to do them tonight? You made the wreath yourself. Um, you know, I did that with one in, in the house, like one in, um, I've got a window hanging in my entryway and I did one of the boxwood wreaths, but, um, it, it was, it was crazy weird. Um, I, I had to like take the pieces apart and so I was so not feeling it. Um, but I'd love to see your work. Can you make the wreaths yourself? I love that. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna start painting. I'm gonna paint the bigger parts white and the smaller parts I'm gonna leave yellow. So the big, this big part, this is gonna be white. And I want y'all to watch how I do that, okay? So I set it down on my board, I, I load my paintbrush. Um, green garland from Hobby Lobby, bought a small grape variety print to be the part to make a small wreath. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I load my paintbrush and I set it down on my board and it's just like when I'm making polka dots. I just kind of twirl to get that smooth edge. And you may have to go over it a couple times. Maybe you have to make it a little bit bigger. And you see it, my paint is a little bit puffy, but that's okay. Because as long as it covers, I don't care that it's a little bit puffy. So I'm just going to sit here and do this until I get them all done. This 
Stacy, do you have a business page? I'd love it if you send it to me in the comments or in the um, in a message, and I'll go like it as my business. And that way, when people pop up on mine, when Facebook's being nice, they'll also recommend yours. All right, so see, this is what it's going to look like except for I'm gonna go back and put bright white over the top of it. Stacy, do you use the um, carbon paper transfer technique or do you freehand everything? Thank you, Christy. Appreciate you, girl. Hopefully those kids are behaving today. Christy, I decided to use a Moroccan stencil of sorts to finish out our pineapple. And I'm using the polka dot technique to get my crisp lines in these circles. So I'm just setting my paintbrush down and spinning. And I essentially do that about four times and I have the Moroccan piece done. So I'm just gonna sit here and paint. Do y'all know does everything close down on July 4th? I'm really hoping Wits is open today because I would love some custard. Sounds delicious. I always wonder if I hold my mouth weird when I'm painting. You know, like when you put your mascara on, you're like, I always wonder if I'm, when I concentrate, if I hold my mouth weird. Y'all have to tell me. Call it the care of face. So I had this sweet group in the studio yesterday. Guys, they were precious. Um, it was a mom, her three daughters, and her mother and her mother was a stinking riot. They were all so sweet. I'm trying to talk them into opening a dog kennel in our area because they're like puppy fanatics and um, man, we need another dog kennel. We need a good one that, I don't know any of the local ones, but I know that every time I've tried to call and get our dogs in at the last minute, they can't get them in, which tells me that there's a market for it. I'm also um, working with a couple people right now to try to rebrand their businesses and get them um, some different markets going, which I'm super excited about. I love seeing the possibility of um, seeing other women be able to work from home. Because I know that's where I was years ago. Like I just wanted to have something besides being a being just a mom. I mean, yeah, moms are, it's super important. But um, I had worked in a, you know, somewhat stressful job before I had kids and I kind of missed the adult interaction. So if anybody is looking for a side hustle Holler at me, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay. I'm almost done with this part. I'm gonna let this dry. Um, 
Um, if you're just joining, I started this pineapple on Monday, I believe. Today's Wednesday, I think. And um, I didn't get to finish it. So I'm back on finishing it today. And I decided to do a Moroccan pattern, which to do that, I used a printout of Moroccan and a piece of carbon paper. And I just traced it right on and now I am filling it in with my paint. Feel free to share this video and come back and type share and I will make sure that you get a link to the color mixing guide that I have that helps me make the best use of all of my paint. That way I don't have to have a ton of bottles. I can just quickly and confidently mix my own. Um, one more thing, so if you weren't on when I mixed this white paint, I actually mixed a, just a drop of brown in there because it makes it not as transparent and it covers better. So I was trying to cover these black lines that I drew on my board. And so what I'll do is after I get the black lines covered and my design um, painted out, I'll go back and put a coat of white paint over the top of it. just so that it'll be brighter. All right, one more little piece. Okay guys, so that's where I'm at. I'm gonna set this off to the side for a minute. I was gonna see if I had anything else over here to paint today. Let me show you the original one that we did. <clears throat> All right, so this was the original. The original had the black and white at the bottom with the turquoise. And then my dots were opposite, so you can see here and here. So I did the, the dots the other way, um, and I did a big monogram on it. You can totally do that on this one, too. If you wanted to do that, you would just trace off a circular um, area in the middle, and then you would leave that for your letter. So there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this. I'm waiting for this to dry just a little. And then I will add some more paint. I do need to get a little bit of my apple tart and touch up the top while we're sitting here. And I just had a few places where I messed up, scratched it up a little bit. It's drying pretty quick, except those areas that I, where I made it thick on the edges. So I'm gonna dry my paintbrush. Guys, another thing I do, um, if I need to use the same paintbrush right, um, right over again, so I just used it, stuck it in the water to clean it, um, these microfiber cloths are the best, and if you will just do your paintbrush back and forth like that, you'll keep your bristles nice and straight. So, I'm going to get some more paint. Hello, Connie. How are you this morning? Yesterday was Connie's birthday, so y'all need to tell her happy birthday, old lady. Am I in trouble now? She's going to holler at me. She's coming to see me on Thursday. She'll probably just slap me when she gets here.
Honey, are you doing fireworks today? It's too bad that Miss Martha doesn't live next door because Vince would be buying a whole bunch. So guys, now I'm just going back over anywhere I could still see the black. I'm going over it. And then I'll do a little bit of stark white. And then we'll be ready for our letters. Somebody's shooting off some fireworks in the middle of the day. And my doggies are mad. Who's, um, dogs are afraid of fireworks? Is it just mine? Or is it pretty much common that all of them are? Who's having a cookout today? Everybody's quiet. Paint is getting gloppy. I got one more over here. Need to cover up. Okay, so I got all my white done. I'm gonna clean my brush, and then I need to let this dry really well, and then I will, um, once it's dry, I will come back and put the welcome on. But I think while I wait. You know, I was gonna um, add bright white to this, but it actually looks white. You can see that, it looks white already, so I think I might leave it. I think I may just do some accents at the top. Let's see, with my white. So I'm gonna turn it, turn my board around. And I'm just going to accent it like this. So there's where we're at. 
we're gonna put a big bow on it and I will um, come back in just a few minutes and do the welcome wording so I hope you all have a fantastic afternoon if I don't see you back on in a little while thanks for joining me see you later bye